Reinforcing bars are tied at intersections in order to maintain their position during work performed by other trades and during concrete placement. It is not necessary to tie bars at every intersection. Tying does not add strength to the finished structure. In most cases, depending on the spacing, bars are tied at every second, third, or fourth intersection, with at least two ties on each bar. Unless the specifications are specific about the number of intersections to be tied, the inspector should accept the work as noted previously, unless it's apparent that the mats or cages of reinforcing steel will be displaced from their required position during concrete placement. Only coated tie wire should be used to tie coated bars. The various types of ties used when securing reinforcing bars are illustrated in the CRSI publication Placing Reinforcing Bars, Chapter 10, along with a description of how ties are formed. The most common tie, known as the snap or single tie, is extensively used in flat horizontal work as illustrated by Detail A. Detail B illustrates the wrap and snap tie, normally used when tying wall rebar, holding the horizontal bar firmly so the bar will not slide down. The saddle or U-tie, the wrap and saddle tie, and the figure eight tie are used by the iron worker when mats and cages of rebar must be rigidly held as ladder rungs supporting an iron worker.